Hello guys, this is Edgar from Spoken Lithuanian here with you today. And we, today we have a new lesson, kind of a quick lesson that I want to emphasize about the things that I want to emphasize. And this is version of infinitive, the verb infinitive form. Uh, because I see many students actually make this mistake because it's kind of, well, it's similar to English language, but at the same time, it's a little bit different. Therefore, I want you to pay attention to that. It's going to be quick and it's, I think it's going to be useful for you because it's actually something that you can immediately use when you use Lithuanian language, okay? So, first of all, let's look at a simple verb, for example, to eat, right? So, so what we do in English language, when we have infinitive form, uh, we just add this to in the beginning, right? To eat, and we usually get the first form over here. Now, in Lithuanian language, we have t ending, t, valgi t. Lithuanian language, a lot of the things we actually um, say through the ending. So in this case, it's, it's the same. Valgite means the infinitive form. To eat, valgite. Now, for example, to know, if I wanted to say to know, žinote, žinote, žinote. That's also t at the end, right? Žinote. Now, to have to, or to must, for example, in, in Lithuanian language, is privalete. Privalete. One of the words for that is privalete. Privalete. That's also t. You can see. So we can pretty much establish, right? Because it's the rule that if we have a Lithuanian language infinitive form, we have the t ending. Okay? So for example, if I want to say I have to, I have to, that's already not the infinitive form, right? So I have aš privalo. Aš privalo. That's a different ending. We will get to that in the future lessons just for now. Focus that I have to is aš privalo, right? Now, if I wanted to say I have to know, I have to know, that's I already here have a second verb. And the rule is that in Lithuanian language, the second verb is always in the infinitive. So it's the same case in English over here, but it's not always because, for example, I can say, I can do it. I'm not saying I can to do it. But in Lithuanian, it's always in the infinitive. So I have to know would be aš privalo, aš privalo, the same I have to, aš privalo žinote, aš privalo žinote, I have to know, aš privalo žinote. You can actually even say in Lithuanian language, man reikia žinote. It's like you're saying there's a need for me to know. Right? It, it was kind of similar to, to man patinka in the previous lesson. Man patinka. You could say man patinka žinote. I like to know. Right? So um, it's kind of a similar thing. I, I will explain in the future lessons this difference between, between us and man. We, we kind of talked a bit about it in the first two lessons if you want to go back to that. But yeah, the second verb is always in the infinitive. Remember that and, and never mistake that. Now, for example, to want... To want would be norete, norete, right? Norete. I want to eat, I want to eat would be aš noru. That's the first verb, so therefore it's not an infinitive. It's the, it's the ending for I want, aš noru. But then I have valgite, aš noru valgite. I want to eat, aš noru valgite, right? Aš noru valgite. For example, to do would be either darite or padarite. Padarite is actually this more of, um, you kind of have this finished action quality to it when you have this pa in the beginning, okay? Darite, padarite, darite, padarite. So, for example, if I wanted to say I will do, I often see this mistake over here because people assume because we have the, Modal, modal verb here and do is the second verb over here that for some reason we would be saying this in infinitive form in Lithuanian and they would say something like aš padarite, aš padarite. but no, we, we use endings over here when we use the first verb and we say aš padarysiu, padarysiu. that's the ending for the future tense, right? We will, we will get to that in the future, right? Because, you know, I, I don't want to give you uh, too much information in one lesson, but just bear in mind that the first verb has its own form depending on the on the tense, on the case, um, on, on the case even if, if you're using, but usually on the tense, on the person, on the whether it's plural or not, or not, on the gender. That that all depends um, 
from the ending, okay? But yeah, aš padarysiu, not aš padaryte. That, that's not how we use it, even though it's infinitive, right? Yeah, okay. So I, I got the main point across, right? That we always use the second ver verb in the infinitive form. Just try to do this sentence. I have to eat. You know all the words, you know everything you need to know. You should be able to say that. So I have to eat would be aš privalo valgite. And it actually, you want to kind of eat something, right? You want to finish this action of eating. You would be saying, aš privalo pa valgite. Aš privalo pa valgite. But it's fine. You can say, aš privalo valgite. You would be understood. But it means like, aš privalo valgite means kind of, um, in general, I need to eat. Otherwise, I, I will not survive, right? But if you're hungry, hungry right now, you, you would be saying, aš privalo pa valgite. The one we had before, right? But in any case, the second verb is in the infinitive form, infinitive version of the verb, therefore the ending t. Okay, so I hope uh, you understood this. It's, I think it's kind of one of the easier lessons because I just wanted to get the single point across to you, okay? If you want more phrases, words, um, you can find the free PDF and audiobook in the description that I've made. Uh, just press on it, join my newsletter, and you will get this uh, sent directly to your email. You can further your learning. You can watch the previous lessons that I've posted on uh, on my channel. I, I usually try to make the lessons so that you can watch them one at a time. It doesn't matter which, which order, but if you watch them from the order of, of release, that will be fine. Okay. So if you, uh, as always, if you have any suggestions or, or wants or needs for future lessons, just keep me posted in the comments and I will try to answer as much as possible. Okay. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the future upcoming lessons. Bye.